After Qing Empire was overthrown, Xiang Yu divided the empire into 18 states, and he made 18 kings at the same time. Liu Bang received the isolated Bashu region. Liu Bang bent down the vessel bridges connecting his faith and the outside world to show that he had no ambition to compete with Xiang Yu. However, he secretly used a waterway to go out. Xiang Yu was shocked to know that Liu Bang had come out of his faith. He immediately took his army to exterminate Liu Bang. Just then, the warlord of Qi state revolted against Xiang Yu at the same time. Xiang Yu's most trusted strategist Zhang Niang, who actually was a spy, advised Xiang Yu to exterminate the warlord of Qi state first. Xiang Yu listened to his advice. Xiang Yu split the former Qing Empire into 18 kingdoms. His arrangement could not make everyone satisfied. Liu Bang knew that his opportunity had come. He then led the disgruntled lords to fight against Xiang Yu. Because he got the information from Zhang Liang that Xiang Yu was away from his capital, Liu Bang's army easily occupied Xiang Yu's capital city, Pengcheng. Pengcheng was full of buildings and churches. They were taken by Xiang Yu from Qin Shi Huang's palaces. Liu Bang and his friends were obsessed with these beauties. They had parties and Xiang Yu's palaces day and night. Suddenly, Xiang Yu was back. Xiang Yu only had 30,000 troops. Liu Bang's allied army amounted to 560,000. But they were severely defeated by Xiang Yu. Liu Bang's wife and father were taken by Xiang Yu. Liu Bang himself was besieged by Xiang Yu's cavalry. The cavalry was approaching towards him closer and closer. Just then, an extremely strong wind suddenly blew up. Xiang Yu's cavalry stopped because of the wind and the sand. Liu Bang ran away immediately. On his way of escaping, he met his son and daughter. Liu Bang's driver Xia Houying put them on the carriage, but the poor children were soon kicked out by Liu Bang because Xiang Yu's cavalry were chasing them. Xia Houying insisted on taking the children. Thanks to the excellent driving skills of Xia Houying, Liu Bang and his children finally arrived at their garrison safely. In the next few years, Liu Bang's Han army and Xiang Yu's Chu army had fought for several times. At first, Xiang Yu prevailed Liu Bang. Liu Bang was once besieged in Xingyang city. Xiang Yu's army fiercely attacked the city. Liu Bang's strategist Chen Ping then forced 2,000 young women to dress in Han army uniforms. The Chu soldiers were surprised to find that the 2,000 Han soldiers turned out to be 2,000 pretty young ladies. They swarmed to take the ladies. Xiang Yu was so angry that Liu Bang had escaped in the chaos. Xiang Yu was a cruel person. He killed the 2,000 young ladies. As time went by, the situation was getting better for Liu Bang. Liu Bang had a good assistant, Xiao He. Xiao He was a former government official of Qing Empire. He had the experience of collecting tax. Back to the time when Liu Bang broke into Xianyang city, Xiao He was in Liu Bang's army. He had not taken the treasures and the beauties of the imperial palaces, but he had taken all the documents about the population, land, horses, and other important information from the royal library. So he knew how to effectively collect tax and make resources for Liu Bang. Compared with Liu Bang, Xiang Yu could not afford the price of constant wars. Xiang Yu was a former noble of Chu Wurin state. Qin exterminated Chu state. So Xiang Yu hated everything related to Qin. He did not want to learn the advanced tax collecting system of Qin Empire. As a result, he could not afford his army. While Liu Bang was expanding his army, Xiang Yu had to dismiss his army. Xiang Yu wanted to end the war as soon as possible. He threatened to cook Liu Bang's father and wife alive 
If Niu Bang did not surrender to him, Niu Bang replied, "If you are going to cook my dad, don't forget to share me the soup." Xiang Yu was so angry, he took a bow and shot Niu Bang in the chest. Niu Bang pretended that he was short in the foot. Because Niu Bang was seriously injured, he agreed to a ceasefire at the Treaty of Hong Kano, which divided China into East and West under their respective domains. Xiang Yu then retreated eastward, but Niu Bang attacked him when he was not prepared. Still, Xiang Yu was not defeated in such unfavorable situation. Niu Bang realized. He would never defeat Xiang Yu by himself. He needed the assistance from Han Xin, Peng Yue, and Ying Bu. These three warlords were glad to see Niu Bang and Xiang Yu fight with each other. They did not want to help Niu Bang. However, Niu Bang's strategist Zhang Liang was so good at sowing disorders between rivals. He successfully made them believe. That they would be exterminated by Xiang Yu if they did not help Niu Bang. So they agreed to cooperate with Niu Bang for attacking Xiang Yu from three directions. Niu Bang knew only Han Xin could defeat Xiang Yu, so he appointed Han Xin as the commander, and he gave all his troops to Han Xin for the final battle against Xiang Yu. This decision was quite risky. If Han Xin betrayed Niu Bang, then Niu Bang would lose all. But Niu Bang was an experienced gambler. He knew that Han Xin only wanted to compete with Xiang Yu on the battlefield. He did not have much interest in becoming the emperor like Niu Bang. Han Xin was recorded in history as the god of military. Xiang Yu was recorded in history as the god of war. The final battle started. Liu Bang's Han armies were outnumbered than Xiang Yu's Chu army. However, the Han armies were the peasants. Chu army were mainly the professional warriors. Xiang Yu's elite troops were selected from the sons of the former nobles of Chu warring states. They were the famous eight thousand Jiangdong warriors, and they were cavalry. Liu Bang's peasant soldiers were so scared of the cavalry. They would run away on the battlefield when they saw Xiang Yu's cavalry. Han Xin then designed a black cloud military array to avoid the peasants escaping on the battlefield, and he also set a ten-sides ambush strategy to exhaust Xiang Yu's cavalry. Xiang Yu was defeated. He retreated to his camp, a place called Gai Xia. Han Xin got the news that Xiang Yu's reinforcements were on the way. That was the reason why Xiang Yu was still full of confidence. Han Xin then found some musicians to teach the Han soldiers to sing the true state folk songs. A few days later, Xiang Yu was shocked to hear that Liu Bang's troops were singing the true state folk songs from all directions. He said to his favorite woman Lady Yu, "Has Liu Bang already taken our land?" Why Liu Bang's soldiers know how to sing our folk songs? Xiang Yu thought that his true state was already taken by Liu Bang, and his reinforcements would not come. He lost his confidence. He sang a song: "Li ba shan xi qi gai shi, shi bu li xi zhui bu shi, zhui bu shi xi ke lai he, yu xi yu xi nai ruo he." Lady Yu knew that Xiang Yu could not break out the encirclement by taking her. She performed the last sword dance for Xiang Yu and sang a song: "Han Jun yi lue di, si mian chu ge shen, da wang yi qi jing, jian qie he liao shen." After the song, she killed herself with the sword. Xiang Yu then bid farewell to his lady. And started to escape from Gai Xia. Xiang Yu successfully broke out the encirclement and arrived at Wujiang River. East of the river was his land. The people there were his strongest supporters. 
The local officials had waited by the river for a long time. He prepared a boat for Xiang Yu. He told Xiang Yu, "King, Jiangdong region is on the other side of the river. We have thousands miles of land and a numerous population. Please come on board. After you go to Jiangdong, you can compete with Liu Bang again in future." Xiang Yu replied. I started my army with eight thousand sons of Jiangdong people. We overthrew the cruel Qing Empire and rebuilt our true state. But the heaven did not help me any more. Now the eight thousand Jiangdong warriors only had twenty-eight left. I know Jiangdong people love me and they won't blame me. But I feel so ashamed to see them. Then he led his twenty-eight Jiangdong warriors to fight with the approaching Han troops. Two hundred Han troops were killed by Xiang Yu. His twenty-eight warriors all died. Xiang Yu did not want to survive any more. At last, he killed himself with his sword. Liu Bang was the last winner. He was supported by the other warlords to become the emperor. Han Empire was founded.